Hey y'all, welcome back. Let's begin the tour of this land. Oh, you gotta do is say so this land is quite large and um, when I walked around it, it did take me um, quite a bit of time to walk around it, but it's beautiful. Um, I really do love that like every step of the way, they have beautiful things to look at. So many wonderful fall colors. They literally have like every fall color on this land and I absolutely love it. Look how adorable these foxes look. Look at he's so playful. And I love it. So I was really hoping that I didn't miss out on this land because um, Lilu, um, they do or she does. You know, I have to check out to see. I don't know if Lilu is like a person or like a company. I don't know. But anywho, Lilu does um, seasonal lands. So um, I'm not going to say always seasonal. Look at how cute that birdie is because um. They did like a shark week and I missed it. Oh, I was I was not happy about missing the shark week. Now, I don't know if that's something that's going to come around again. Look how pretty this is. It might still be around. But when I went to the landmark that I saved, I didn't see it anymore. The landmark had actually taken me here, which I was not upset about. Well, no, originally when I went to the landmark, it was saying that they were coming back in September, like they were redoing the land for um, fall. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna have to catch the fall. And I'm so glad that I did. Look at this out. Oh, okay now. Attitude, and then walk away. So yeah, this land is super pretty. It's so stinking festive. I love this little basket. I love every single thing about this land. Let me just show you guys the trees. Like, I love those little teepees over there. We'll look at the space that we've already been in. Look at all of these colors. Every fall color, they do have a balloon ride. We're gonna check that ride out a little bit later. So yeah, I was really, really excited um, when I got to view this land. I was a bit on the fence of whether or not to re-record the video. My mom said, no, don't re-record it. Just, you know, you can edit it and do a voiceover. But like I said, I think I've gotten, well, I know, I've gotten so used to I'm um, just doing like a, a live tour, if you will. Can you ride these horses? Oh, nice. So they have horses that you can ride. I do remember this. I do remember, yes, they do have. I don't know why I'm acting like I've never been here before because I have, and I do remember they do have horses, but I think I had realized that later in the um, the tour. But so they do have horse riders, horse rides that you can um, use or have rather. So this is cute. I do remember what's over here. So I want to come to this like a little bit later on. I want to see all the stuff that's on the ground first. So nice. But yeah, so I do love that they give you like different options as to how you can tour the space. They do have bikes, but I think that the bikes are just for poses, not so much for riding. Um, I didn't really check it out to see, but I know they have a couple and when I see them, like they have um, like a chair option. And I always see like when it's a chair option, that's just for you to sit. Oh, we saw this in the house. If they have an option for you to do other things, then they will actually like give you options for it. And so because they did and I'm just like, okay, well this must just be like for poses. And I get that. This looks so yummy and so sugary, homemade apple cider, super pretty. So I love how they have all the colors kind of just like meshed in together just for a really, really nice fall vibe, super nice. It is very close to October. And when I tell you guys, I have not seen a lot of Halloween lands, like not a lot. Um, I was really surprised about that. Because it's so close to the Halloween month, I really did just like assume that they would have like the Halloween lands out already. So like these bikes, they have like a chair option. So I'm pretty sure you could just pose on those. I really was expecting for the Halloween lands to just like already be out and about. Oh, they have the foxes. So I am kind of um, 
curious as to when they're actually gonna like ramp up um the halloween stuff probably in like the next week or so when it gets like a little bit closer closer to halloween and then especially like the couple weeks um going into um halloween but i did find a couple so i will be um, participating in vlogtober mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're gonna be doing a lot of different things um because i still have quite a few lands that i want to show you guys everything is not going to be like very like halloweeny but it will be fall and that's simply because you know second life moves with the seasons baby so a lot of the lands are um designed for fall look how pretty these apple trees are so i really did like that because i love the fall colors my favorite season in second life is christmas it is the winter season as a whole but specifically um christmas time much like fall i love all the beautiful colors everything is so sparkly and snowy and everything is just so stinking cute i really do love um the winter time in second life so my favorite seasons are fall and winter but winter top tier for me they get really really inventive when it comes to um look at this raccoon adorable they get really really inventive when it comes to um or innovative if you will when it comes to how they have their interactive aspects of their winter themed lands so sometimes they'll have stuff where you can ice skate or they have a lot of guided tours and i love a guided tour i love 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 a guided tour and so i love just seeing how they incorporate everything for um the winter months it's always on brand everything is always within theme and it's so nice it it gives very much so like the like when we go to like fantasy lands how the fantasy lands they normally do stick to the theme throughout the winter time is like that as well mostly all of the winter lands that um i have seen they've all just been in accordance with the winter time and i do like that so on this land i do love that they have a lot of different seating spaces these owls look kind of creepy kind of creepy um they do have a lot of different seating spaces though and the seating spaces do seem to be um couples like kind of like couples geared but of course you can be on it on your own you can sit on the um in the spaces alone but it is a lot of things like for couples so i think that this place would be a really nice place for like a first date or like a date period can i get up here okay or like a date period it's really really nice this space was again one of my favorite spaces here i had quite a few um favorite spaces that i actually did see um when i first toured this space and this is one of my favorite spaces so nice i love that they have all of the different interactive things i love the boat i love the water i love the fishies i love the fish jumping out of the water the bears are like super cool to watch i love all of this everything is so interactive and is so pretty every time every single time i visit um a land that lilu has done and i've gone to quite a few and we have gone together to quite a few i'm never disappointed it's never ever ever a disappointment a disappointment it's actually like always a really really fun treat for me because i know that everything is going to be pretty and everything's going to be special and it's always things that i've never seen in second life before and that's what i really really love i love going to lands where it's like oh wow i haven't seen anybody do this before in second life and this um Lilo's lands always give me that vibe like they're there are many many times where i've gone to the lands look at the little babies where i've gone to the lands and i'm like oh wow i've never seen this before so the bears are so stinking cute they move he's like hunting right now and i really really love it look at this they're so interactive every space 
every space they have them so perfectly posed in some of the most perfect um positions i love the little baby bears everything is so pretty and then with like the background of the color i absolutely love it i love it love it love it look at these colors mm -hmm. i love it so i wanted to make sure that i got back in time because what i didn't want was to just kind of underestimate the amount of time that this land could possibly be up and i end up waiting too long and miss it that was like one of my biggest things so i was very very adamant on redoing this video in um, very much so a timely fashion because i did not want to um accidentally miss out on coming back to this land and actually showing you guys this land um before it's gone now i'm not sure i part of me remembers um this uh, Lilo uh, Lilo's land saying that the land was going to be up for the whole month but I could be mistaken I couldn't remember if, the, if it was this land or if it was another land so I just didn't want to take my chances and so I'm really really glad that um I'm doing this video now it's so funny because I feel like all damn day I procrastinate on doing the video and then when I do it I'm like why did i why did i wait so long i don't know what my issue is sometimes look at this beautiful overview i really don't know what my issue is sometimes but you know i get it together at the end of the day this land has so many super cool and cute like little tucked off chill spots so many different sitting spaces i really really love how just everything was put together on this land. It is so festive and I love it. Every single part is, is just something new and exciting to look at. This is quite a walkie land, but it is meant to be. Um, but like I said, um, and as we saw, they have lots of different sitting spaces. So the walking is not overwhelming at all because there's so much to see. It's like, look at this, what? all of this beautiful paths beautiful views every step of the way i love the little like wildlife that'll be kind of like off in the nook i love that so i am super duper excited to see how um second life is going to um continue doing their fall um sams as well as how they're going to transition um fully into like the halloween season I know they're gonna do it big they always do i love this and so the adventure begins because when i tell you the creators in second life when they when they get into the holidays it's always amazing and a sight to see and i'm so glad that you guys are gonna get to see it with me